Pickett, hand on the ball, trying to work one-on-one -on -one against Cubbage. Inside to Herar and slam dunk home to tie the game up. Nittany Lions are tired of the hot start by the Terriers. Here outside. Inside pass to Pickett. Pickett hasn't taken a shot yet. Fade away, takes the shot, and that'll drop. There it is, Darren. As we noted for Penn State, their leading scorer, Jalen Pickett, a guy who they were trying to get rolling, gets fouled, and that was a dream start for the Nittany Lions. He has struggled, and they really want to get the ball in his hands. He says, get the ball in his hands. Here you just see a simple ball screen action into a 15-foot jump shot. Board to Nazir Williams. He'll take it himself, swatted away by Pickett. Under two minutes to go, a big block. Great defense by Pickett. We're both back. Now all of a sudden, they're trailing it. Great, great block by Pickett. I can't emphasize it enough. By the time that one was over, like it never happened here at State College. Well, almost 28 minutes uh, of action here. This is uh, really starting to heat up to be a good one. 45 to 40 now, Penn State. He pulls up and he is wet, man. Second on the team in scoring. He's got 10 points here tonight. The drive, and it's going to go down for Penn State. That Penn State played last year where they amassed a lot of steals, but they left open opportunities that get their biggest foul trouble. Jalen Pickett. Glenn Jalen Pickett, great sharp shooter from Siena. The transfer knocks down this three. Five seconds on the shot clock. Sesson's got to go here. Leaning in for three, yes! Jalen Pickett, a much-needed bucket for the Nittany Lions. Come to a jump stop, what's the rush? Time is on your side. Gotta be quick now, Pickett. And a chance for a three-point play, foul on Lawrence. Hopefully he's conveyed the message if you're Coach Mason. Miles Dredge, three points, lead the Nittany Lions. Other end of the floor, going up strong and dropping it in, Jelani White. Five on the shot clock, Pickett's gonna have to hurry. He's gonna pull up from long range and nail it. Jalen Pickett, his first basket of the day is from long range. <laughs> it's amazing when you think about it, 250 coaches that he's gone against. It just shows what and, and how good Coach Izzo has been. They usually win 38% is what they shoot from beyond the arc in their victories. 28% in their losses as they go right to Hera. Slams it down, hangs and flexes. From beyond the arc in his first year in Bloomington. Pickett steps back and he drills a three. He's really come on the last few games. Two miles dread, hesitate, and that gave Cop an opportunity to knock it down and pick it. Just a so at the moment it's a one point game. We may be tied. Pickett with one on the shot clock. Oh, he drills it. Wow. 10 to shoot. They're away outside the lane working on a new matchup. Pickett, a desperation oh. three, and he got it. What a shot. You set up as a defender and able to take it. And then look at Pickett. Shot clock the rest. You know, Taylor Battle, man. I mean, you brought out a great statistic, which is, Chris? He finished his career at Penn State as the Big Ten Conference leader in minutes played. Johnson bobbles it. He's out of control. Finds his footing with four. He's in trouble. It's going to be Pickett. Has to let it fly with one. Does from the elbow. Jalen Pickett for two. Johnson with five. Now it's Pickett. Steps back. Leans in. The whistle. And that's a three. For Jalen Pickett. The Binghamton transfer in his second year of the program. Two to shoot, fade away on the baseline, and that right there is what Jalen Lee, not in the classroom, but just getting some eligibility on the transfer, but he's in, and so. Got to find a way to get an easy one right here. Clock is going down, you got to get a good shot. Fade away, that's not an easy shot, but it does go for Jalen Pickett. But he stretches the defense more as an improved perimeter shooter. Wide open underneath, so they've had so much trouble scoring, and then they get that easy slam for Jelani White. Now into Hera, and Wheeler coming to try to take it away, but shot clock at three, and Pickett bails him out with a long triple. Teammates in trouble, and the clock's winding down. Sometimes you just got to run and get the rock from him. Hera sets a little ball screen, and Pickett does the rest. Penn State trying to hang in there. 
Six to shoot. Sessoms. Dread has to push it back out to Pickett. Two to shoot. One to shoot. And the step back for Pickett falls. That's how Penn State wants to play. Geronimo off the fake. Mid range game. Jackson Davis trying to keep that possession alive. It comes down to Pickett. Lead pass. How about running the floor is the big man, John Hera. A lot of dribbling, Pickett heard the crowd and hits at the buzzer. Meanwhile, for Penn State, Seth Lundy has planned with four fouls. A lot of dribbling, works out well. Opportunity to take the lead for Jalen Pickett. Look at spin, spin, and finish. Hello, Jalen. You mocked me when I said 89-86. Yeah, not that far. <laughs> we are getting close. Pick it, got ball, handed in the air and hit it anyway. Have to hand it to Penn State. Great resilience here. Here's Lee out of the corner, and he hits it. Greg Lee with the three-pointer. Watch his head. He's in pretty good position, but watch his head. Watch where he's looking. He lo completely loses Lee in the corner and now Jalen Pickett as he slithers his way inside fade shoots and scores great start for Penn State tonight on the road but that was nice to see the baseline cuts the screen downs better defense but the old flex action love it Jalen Pickett he's flexing those muscles and a count and one get three point drive coming for Pickett I don't know if there's a stat for this but there's no player in the league who dribbles it more in a game then pick it. Late in the shot clock. This is where Penn State often operates. Jalen Pickett against Hogarth. Nice <laughs> shot fake <laughs> off the window. 21, John Hera. This takes, his walks his man Two down. Third. Excellent ball fake. It's no good, one and done. Sessoms leads the break. And the trailer knocks down the triple. That's Jalen Pickett. This team started 10 and 1 in the non-conference, and then the conference schedule been a little different for the Golden Gophers. Finally, some points there for Pickett. Johnson with another dig. Sessoms passed it up. Pickett three. Yes. 20 for Pickett. Sequence refill. Pickett could have shot that basketball. Sessoms could have shot that basketball, but they both gave up good shots to find a great shot, and that's what you need your veterans to do. And psychological leader this season. A little behind the back, and Hera does finish from Jalen Pickett. Boy, I love that play right there. Boy, it was going to be wide open. Erica Allen just a sloppy pass. Julian Reese all by himself in the paint. It's going to lead to an open shot, and that's just a turnover. And in that floater over the top of the defense is very hard to guard. Just four points for Bowie, and on the other end, Pickett finding Hera. Penn State with 10 turnovers on the night. Northwestern very good at taking care of the basketball, but losing it there, and Pickett goes in for the easy. He started with Hera kind of corralling him and cutting off the angle, and then Pickett comes from the other side and picks his pocket. He lost where he was. I think you're much closer than that. Pickett's got to take that three. They got to put shots up. That's the high floater. Only confidence, and he's still just a sophomore. There's a runner from Pickett, and there you go. Beating the shot clock horn with his second bucket tonight. This has woken up a little bit, and it's no surprise that Jalen Pickett, their senior leader, getting it done. We got a one-point game. They weren't able to do it against Nebraska. They got pumped by a Nebraska team that dropped 13 threes on them. They responded. Greg Lee stuffs it down and ties it up. Again, it's Lee with Curbelo on him inside. Instead, outside a three goes for Pickett, and Penn State takes the lead. Goody was too slow on that rotation, and then also again, Goody giving them space. Different offensive group. Sessoms comes away with a loose ball. Oh, that was just spectacular to watch Lundy on that out of bounds play. He blew up the entire play, would not let Hyatt even touch it. You make your coach look a lot better when you're hitting shots, don't you? Okay, he sneaking in, blind by Pickett. And Lundy 
finishes off the alley. That defense, and they turn it in to offense. Pick it, get that shot out of here. Sesums the run. There's Lundy. He'll never give up, no matter what. Give him credit. So undersized, at 200 pounds, and here at 245. Pick it, leaning in, counted and a foul. They couldn't get it to John Hara, but you still have the mismatch on the perimeter. Eric Curry switched on the G. Pickett's calling for a screen. Hara comes to set it, and then he'll dump it down inside, and Hara lays it. Four years for the Nittany Lions, and now he faces them again here. Of course, that was for a different coach, and Pat Chambers and then Jim Ferry. Inside, good bucket there, the first of the night for Penn State for Jalen Pickett. Wheeler battling inside despite the height disadvantage. Here comes Brunk to help. Shot clock at two. Pick it. Fader got it. Pick it against Williams. He'll just rise, fire, and knock it down. Oh, got that switch with Travion Williams. And yeah, pick it. A couple of really nice plays. And now he finds Hera. That was the Jalen Pickett possession. Mismatch for Pickett inside. He's going to back him down. Works on Wilson. Pickett breaks the seal. Penn State converts and has a 2-0 lead. Shot clock already under 10. Penn State's defense has been suffocating here in the early going. Whiteside has to hurry. Penetrate. Slotted. Pickett's been everywhere. Substitutions ready to enter either side. It is a thin Loyola, Maryland team that's traveled to Happy Valley tonight as Dredd tries from three and hits. Big shot from one of your experienced players in Miles Dredd. Leaving Miles Dredd open a lot. I've got a lot of open shooters. Loyola, Maryland's going to have to clean that up. Backdoor cut from Alexander. Tried to make the extra pass. Intercepted by Pickett. And now Winter can run down the other end. Shot clock. And a fast break look the other way for Cam Winter. In the Big Ten, it helps to have bigger guys as they get an easy one off the end line out of bounds. Harris able to slice. No foul call. He hit the deck hard. Two hands slammed Lundy. And there was a one. And and make, take that turnover and instead of, of bringing it out and getting free throws, might as well. The fifth three-pointer made already tonight for Penn State. Lafayette goes to work. Rivera drives, has his pocket picked. Here's Penn State back. Down the eight on the shot clock for Penn State. Dorsey, pick it up top. What can the Sienna transfer do here? Pulls up, far short corner, buries it. Best win was here against Butler. Looking for another good one tonight. That'll help. Lundy lays it in. Pickett keeps his play alive. And now he's riding a heater, that's for sure. Looking really confident. Here's Pickett now a wide open path to the hoop. And he'll go to the stripe. Not here trying to make excuses at all for Illinois, but how tough is it after you win a game of the magnitude that they did? As Meyer gets rejected on the way in to, to get up again. Long ended up missing both of his free throws, however, after that good offensive play. And now inside, getting the basket plus the foul is Evan Mahaffey. Pick it easy, sway inside, gets the basket plus the foul. Jalen Pickett, just a beast in the lane. Something really jumped out to me. Five freshmen were in the gym working on their game, getting up shots. That was after a 30-point game as the bucket goes up for Cameron Winter and down. Kind of a testament to the culture he's really building in State College. And that was a good one right there. Uh, out, of, out of bounds play, being able to get an open. Oh, what a good finish by Jai. That's the athleticism of the freshman. They think he has such a high ceiling. A great screen connecting on the body and just rolling right to the front of the rim. And Jalen Pickett doing what he does best, putting the ball right where it needs to be for his teammate. But Jai's a guy, he's going to grow. He's going to... In terms of defense, too, only they had five steals in that first half. They have yet to have one in this second half here. As here we get some post Pickett going inside. There he is. Yeah, you like to see that for Jalen Pickett getting his third bucket of the day. Pickett takes it down inside this time. 
Not committing yet as he falls away, and the jumper rolls through. Jalen Pickett has scored the first four for Penn State. Caffrey draws Mahaffey now, throws it into traffic, and Pickett picks it. On the way toward the basket, Miles Dredd off the glass and through. Evan Mahaffey back it goes to Jalen Pickett. He has the last seven for Penn State. Dredd will try from deep, and that three. Where does Penn State go outside of Pickett and Lundy for points? How about there? Evan Mahaffey with the flush. Ball screen action, pocket pass. Here's Pickett, what a tough assignment for Ethan Morton. Double team. Really good double by Edie, but the help side goes away. And got him by himself. Boy, it's just a hard get. Braden Smith's getting out. Fletcher Lawyer's getting out. It's sensational, the crowd, and it has been hot. And it keeps getting hotter in here as this game progresses. Pickett, another one he wants. He got it again. And Edie found it. He's been so impressive, you never speed him up. Jalen Pickett, one of the premier players. Penn State led by 11 at the break. It's down to five. Pickett out to Funk. Catch and shoot three. Yes. You know, he's a sensitive young man, very intelligent, and he is balling tonight. Is he ever? And Pickett. Great points. They have now hit 17 three pointers for Penn State tonight. Wisconsin forcing turnovers in Big Ten Conference play as well as any team. Two to shoot. The three-pointer on the corner goes. Great patience there. Shot clock at eight. They get it into the steady hands of Pickett. Working on wall. Pickett stepping through. Gets it up and in. <laughs> and you're down nine, so you make right. those. Yeah. Right. Tough to tough to, to swallow as a Nebraska fan right now. Funk. That's a big shot. They're going to move it around the perimeter. They're going to make the extra pass. When that guy's open, it's automatic. And he gives him a smaller lineup, too, but no Amore on the floor for Rutgers. Again, it's deep in the shot clock. Pickett deep in the post. Uses the pump fake and Ooh. finally gets one to drop. Uh, we're in the midnight hour now. This is great defense by Paul McKay. He, he's, he's staying low. He's not allowing Pickett to bulldog him. See? He's holding his ground, but Pickett is so savvy. Go. He does have six rebounds, though, for the Scarlet Knights. Pickett double. Jai wide open. And a quick 5-0 run for Penn State leads to a timeout taken by Rutgers. And he hadn't even located the rim visually. Pickett posting again against Bufkin. Look at Pickett work. <laughs> Backing down, regardless of the defender here, he takes Bufkin to school. Screen set by Pickett. Back to Pickett now with four to shoot. Pickett fades away. That's high degree of difficulty. But how about the fact, if I'm not mistaken, I saw a lot, he goes off one foot, he does. <laughs> Here's Jalen Pickett. Drive and kick, there's Hinn, and Hinn getting just his second start, knocks down the three. And Purdue with a rare turnover, just their second. Dread, transition three, got it to drop it, hit every part of the rim, it falls through. Nebraska needs Tolanaga in this game. I mean, it's obviously a matchup situation. Great pass by Pickett, that's what he does. That's why he stuffs a stat sheet. There's Pickett. Funk open, three, good. Andrew Funk, his second from range. He's got eight. Maybe you turn to your teammates and say, hey, I don't care what the scouting report is, maybe help dig down here. But nice job by Pickett. Come and so they do, they run the double. Five seconds for Clary. Oh, what a move to the bucket. Took it right at wall, couldn't finish. Pickett with the follow. Beat the buzzer and the Nittany Lions down by six as they end the line. Both teams were in the bonus. So forced the defense to make a decision. He's able to turn the corner and Pickett stays alive. Very clearly got that tip in and providing a little bit of momentum for the Nittany Lions heading into the locker room. Can't get back his way for two more. 
Once again, Young penetrates, kicks it back outside, but shot clock coming down. It's up to Jameer Young. He goes back to Scott, rejected. Good block by Pickett. Now the shot clock. Young to Reese. Reese rejected by Pickett. And it comes down to Andrew Fung. See the 6'10 Hawkins starts the game on Pickett. Behind the back. And good for two. Pickett. With the mismatch with Danger. What will he do with it? Step back. Score it! A three! And Jalen Pickett joins the 2,000 point club. Number 24. Here's number 2,000 and 2,001 to boot. Such a great passer. Now Pickett will try all the Joseph. Veteran against a freshman. Up and under. Puts it up. Contact. It'll count and one. Attack. The flex. And a three-point try. And, and not only is Ola Joseph isolated, but the reason he's isolated. Here's Jalen Pickett out of the timeout. Trying to back down. Suing. Fading away. And now Jalen Pickett. Steven starting to get into a rhythm. Let's see how Bruce Thornton does. Winner got up in the air, back to Pickett, into the shot clock, puts it up. Yes, it rattles down for Jalen Pickett. Wilson Pickett starting to play some sweet music here in the second half. Jalen Pickett had the final 14 points Thursday night against Ohio State. The only Nittany Lion to hit a shot in the last eight minutes. Scoreless so far in this one. And check that out of the box. Well, right now, you're just grasping at straws. You're continuing to tell your guys, look, we've got to turn this around at the defensive end, get transition points, establish the post, but it's even tough for a great staff to figure out how to score, and you can't give up open threes. Barry trying to get Pickett, whistled for a push-off. We play on. Slashing underneath and scoring was Cameron Winter. Nice look that time. Should that happen again, a technical foul can be whistled. And that'll count and one. For Funk inside. Gary check and pick it. Experienced guys. Grant transfers. Tough work. Tough three. And it falls. Pickett looks up. Trying to beat the horn. And it scored. Jalen Pickett maybe some momentum for Penn State heading into the locker room. Stre screaming down the floor. Understanding time and score. No question about it. The officials have confirmed. Higher quality look from three for Luke Goody. As you watch Luke Goody, keep in mind this is ninth game back from a foot injury. Three-pointer on net. It is the Lundy and Winner show right now at the United Center. Jalen Pickett backing down Melendez. Gets him to his spot. Yes, and the foul. Sets the ball screen to get Shannon off him. Melendez just giving ground. Doesn't let him land. Right now, their offense just not generating good looks. And have to give credit to Northwestern's defense. Pickett, yes. And the foul on Boo Booey, which is his second. Contact on the arm as the shot went up. And Jalen Pickett so good at drawing that contact. Booey's hand is in the vicinity. Pretty good job by Northwestern recognizing that and switching it out. It's Pickett and Bowie again. Step back three. Jalen Pickett knocks it down. And second chance points last as well. So it's notable. Here they go. And leads to that basket. Beautiful pass, too. Little action going, but this is just a really good read. I blame Callaway and actually Shafino. Was one made three for the game by the Hoosiers. It's Pickett. This is what he continues to do over and over again. When somebody walks in the building to see basketball for the first time, they say, what the heck is going on here? He has to beat the shot clock. And, and that was Pickett. And away from traffic, too. He is so wily. Boyer beat the buzzer on a uh, three-pointer. Here's one to beat the shot clock at the other end on a two. And that's a, that's a next level. 32% from the field in this half for the Nittany Lions. Here's Pickett. There you go. There's first points and a chance to go to the line. That's more like it. But Edie was in before. I think he did. I think he felt his presence, even though he was on the bench. Back outside. Oh, better passes would have got an easy look. There you go. Here it is. Dread. 